look, I never went to college and I didn't have any business experience, but I've, I've definitely changed. And it's, it's a lot of, it's about mindset and it's about believing in your expertise and believing that you are the best and that you can help people. Um, so my business, my clients from back then have changed totally to who they are now. Like at the start, it was smaller business owners. It was, but like now the value that I can bring with my connections, my introductions, my, uh, my savviness on online with video and LinkedIn. And I, I've actually got, gone into different areas. And then I have my Women's Inspire Network, which was a huge network of women in business that's global. You'll have to come and join us. And it's really, really good because we do we do weekly webinars. So I'm really good at setting up webinars and events. And so the things I do now were not necessarily the things I did at the start. At the start, I was managing accounts, but now I actually teach people how to do it themselves. And I teach companies, not just individuals. So, um, and I get speaking moments. So I'm getting like, I've lots of different revenue streams compared to when I started out. So it's all about growing and surround yourself with good people and surrounding yourself like I needed a community around me too. And that's why I created Women's Inspire Network because I felt lonely sitting, mm -hmm. I'm in my box room here in a village in Ireland, <laughs> you know, but I'm talking to a global audience. So I just knew that it was so important for me as well to be able to bounce ideas off people, you know, because there'd be silly questions I'd have, like, what's a sales funnel? I feel really stupid. What's a sales funnel? Or I'd be like, um, you know, how do I get the sale over the line? They said they were going to buy, now they're not. And they're, you know, I'm getting the right clients as well. Like you don't want to be messing around with the tire kickers, we call them, you know, um, you know, so it's important and it's important to, to manage your time, that work-life balance thing, because you can get sucked into, you know, this world and just, it's important to go out in nature and stuff like that. So you learn so much as you go. So there's so many things have changed now. True yeah. that, true that. What's the best piece of advice you were given you are good enough oh. you are good enough was one of the best <laughs> pieces of advice I was given that was from Bill Yao I was at an event and some and a lady Gwen was on the stage speaking and she said well what's your biggest uh, challenge right now and I went am I good enough and then, you know, and she, so she addressed that and then when he was walking out the door Bill Yao was in the audience and he said by the way Sam you are good enough. And that kind of really made me cry. Like, oh. but um, I still get goosebumps when I think about it. But also um, a great, great quote that I heard from uh, Morgan Freeman is, don't ever take criticism from someone you would never go to for advice 